In this exercise, we'll use Roland Cut Studio to create a two-color decal using text. We'll add registration marks and save it as a master file. We'll then separate the colors and prepare it for cutting. Once in Roland Cut Studio, I'll go to the Type tool. Example, I'll type Raiders. Type some text. Maybe change the font. And click OK. So the goal is to make a two color decal using this text. So we might print Raiders in white, and then we might have that white lay on a green outer layer. The next thing we'll do is we'll create that outer layer. And the first thing we need to do is click on the Raiders text and go to Object, Convert to Polyline. That converts the text from a text element to a polyline. The next thing we'll do is go to Object, Offset. We can choose the offset or the border that we create around this text, now polyline. I'm going to choose an outside border. I'll type a quarter of an inch. I'll highlight both objects and go to object group and then choose to group them. I'll bring them down toward the bottom. I'll notice my size is 3.7 by 1.26 inches. And I'll shrink that up a little bit down to about three inches. So now that we have our text in our border, we can create registration marks. I'm going to draw a rectangle around the Raiders text to give me a straight line to work with above it. I'll get rid of this, this rectangle in a second. I'm going to go to another rectangle. I'm going to create registration marks above this. Let me bring this rectangle down a little bit lower. The reason I create this rectangle is just to give me a straight line to work with above the text. I'll go and I'll draw a rectangle as my first registration mark. And I'll check it out right above the R and Raiders. I'll then go to Control C and Control V to copy and paste this registration mark and I'll line it up on that rectangle above Raiders. And now I'll get rid of the rectangle that I use for alignment. Here I have the registration marks or marks that lie outside of our desired print or in this case cut that will be used to line up multiple colors. I'm going to go to file save as and i'll save this to my desktop as all this raiders master. so this will be my master file that contains both the text and the outer layer and the registration marks now the next thing i need to do is separate layers we said that we might have raiders in green or white and then a layer underneath it in the opposite color. Let's assume we're gonna print Raiders in white and the under or outlined area would be in green. Let's prepare the green layer first. I'm gonna click on this object and go to object, group. I'm gonna ungroup it. I'm going to delete the Raiders text. Now I just have that outside border, which we're going to cut in green. And I'll highlight it and copy it and paste it so I can print a few of these. There's four. I'll go to file, save this, save it as Raiders, outside order. So now I have four decals ready to go to print or cut the outside border. Each decal includes the registration marks, and I've saved it as outside border. I'll back up to my master file and now I'll prepare 
the text to be cut. Very similar, but instead of deleting the text, I'll delete the outer border layer. Notice the registration marks didn't move. I'll highlight my Raider text and the registration marks. I'll control C and then control V to paste. Do that two more times. And I'll go to File, Save As. I'll save this as Raiders. text and I'm saving these as cut studio documents. So we've saved a master file that contains registration marks, text and a border and then we've separated the two, the border from the text. The registration marks did not move so they'll line up very nicely to create a two color decal. To find out how to line up registration marks efficiently you can watch the next video that describes how to use registration marks to create multi-color decals.